Welcome to our new video. Today we are going to talk about finasteride. It uses different side effects and results. Before we begin, I want to remind you that you can support our channel by subscribing. We have always dreamed of finding a medicine to help us with alopecia and finasteride can do just that. It is an orally taken medication approved by health authorities that can solve male alopecia. Finasteride acts on testosterone by reducing the levels of an enzyme called alpha-5 reductase, which converts testosterone into dihydrotestosterone, accelerating the natural hair cycle and killing the follicles, preventing them from regenerating and causing alopecia. Finasteride has been used since 1997 and is a drug approved by FDA. However, like any other drug, it has both beneficial and adverse effects as well as contraindications. Finasteride is contraindicated for women and children and can only be consumed by men who suffer from androgenetic alopecia and are between the ages of 18 and 40. Although it is recommended that they begin consuming it from the age of 20 due to the great medical burden that it entails in terms of side effects. While well, find both serious and minor side effects and while they can be difficult to deal with, it doesn't mean that they cannot be managed. Finasteride is known to primarily affect the sexual sphere due to its action on testosterone. Less serious side effects include impotence, decreased libido or abnormal ejaculation. However, it is rare to experience any side effects. And if you suspect that you are experiencing any of them, it is recommended that you stop taking the medication since these effects are usually reversible upon discontinuation of the drug. The most serious side effects include depression, coma, the development of mammary glands, elevated liver enzymes, dizziness or swelling in the feet or hands. While it is unlikely to experience these side effects, it is important to stop taking the medication and see a doctor as soon as possible if you experience any of these symptoms. It is also important to be cautious of self-suggestion which may lead us to believe that we are experiencing symptoms that we are not. To prevent this from happening, it is ideal to have blood tests done from time to time to safely and calmly carry out the treatment. Before we continue, I want to remind you to check out the official MyCapel blog which can be found in the information box in the description. It provides all the information you need to know about hair grafts, alopecia, medications and more. I would also like to remind you that you can support our channel by subscribing. Now let's continue with the topic of the video. Finasteride should be taken in doses of 1 mg typically once a day, regardless of the whether you have eaten or not. You can also change the dosage schedule by taking it multiple times a day, but the total amount should still be within the recommended milligram range. While the medication can be purchased at pharmacies without a prescription, we recommend that you speak to your doctor about the issue. This not only helps you to get a prescription for the medicine but also allows you to follow up with a professional on the timing of consumption. We should take the medicine when we notice our native hair starting to thin and there is no specific time at which it must be consumed. Additionally, we should avoid obsessing over hair loss as this can lead to the Zadin effects. The Zadin effects occurs when the actor principle of the medicine causes our hair to fall out, but new thicker hair then grows in its place. If we see our hair continuing to fall out after taking the medicine, there is no need to worry as this means the medicine is working normally. However, we should not be too focused on this idea either as it varies from person to person and from scalp to scalp. After learning about the potential benefits and side effects of finasteride, you may be wondering how it works on our hair and how long it takes to see results. Generally, the medication is more effective on the upper area of the scalp and crown, but may be less effective on the frontal area or hairline. Positive effects can typically be seen within 6 to 12 months of using the medication, although some patients have reported improvements as early as 3 months 
medicine. It's important to note that finasteride is a long-term medication and its beneficial effects may diminish if the medication is discontinued after 12 months. However, the response to treatment can vary from person to person, so it's crucial to seek guidance from a medical professional who can provide personalized instructions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video on social media. You can also visit the official blog of mycapple.com for more information on hair care and hair loss treatments. If you found this topic helpful, let us know in the comments below and feel free to suggest other topics you'd like to see in the future videos. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.